Again, I want to thank you for your time today. I, I also, before I begin, want to mirror uh, Keith Edgeball's comments about Harris. And, you know, with all the radio problems and all the communication that's taking place, Harris bought this system from someone else. So they inherited the problem. And I think they're doing a great job addressing the issue, especially these two gentlemen uh, to my left, have been very responsive to all our needs. That being said, to me, the radio system was a system that never should have been put in place to start with. It was technology that wasn't ready to come out. It, it wasn't tested enough. We were basically the guinea pig for a system this large, and to me, that was the unacceptable part that my officers, day in and day out, that I work with, their lives were put on the line. That being said, the latest software fix, we're optimistically hopeful that, that this is the fix. Uh, we, we've had many software upgrades, and it takes some time to make sure there's no other, no other glitches in the system. So far, it has fixed the, uh, the PX lockup issue that uh, was a big issue for the city police department. So we're very hopeful that that, that, that takes care of a very dangerous problem for us. Uh, as Chief Eshbal said, we can, we can give a lot of examples, of, and I don't want to browbeat this to death, but to me, uh, there's a systematic problem here that deals with technology. And to me, it's, it's relying too much on technology. Uh, there's basic things before we got the MDC and some other technology that were in place where uh, a simple example is if a, a, a robbery happened up in Northern Regional, and this is a real life example that I witnessed myself, an armed robbery happens in Northern Regional, they used to put a tone out countywide with a description of the armed person so that everybody in the county knew the description of, of what had just taken place. Now the procedure is to send something out over the MDC. That's great if the MDC is working properly, which many times it does not. And two, the York City Police Department has a problem that many other agencies don't have in that we have many walking officers that don't have access to MDCs. We have many uh, vice and narcotic officers that are in cars that don't have MDCs. We have many detectives that are in cars that don't have MDCs. The situation that I'm talking about, we had a walking foot patrol officer standing next to the vehicle with the armed people in from Northern Regional and had no idea what had taken place because the information was put out over the MDC. Doing things the old way where the dispatcher had the ability to start asking questions of that person and not being a robot and just stuck in to the technology of what's in front of them, they would have gleaned the information and passed that on to our officers. So the, the bottom line of what I'm saying is if the technology isn't working, if the, the policies aren't working, we have to look at these policies and these technologies and make sure that they address what the bottom line, the street officer out on the street needs. We can sit in this room and we're totally safe. That officer that's out in that car right now is answering calls at this very minute with people with guns, with people with knives, and the decisions have to be made based on what they deal with day to day. If the technology isn't getting the proper information to them, then we need to revisit how that's being taken care of. And we can't just say, well, this is how it is, because we're basing our, our decisions off of data and not off of what's happened in real life.